Welcome, today we have our very own classical music version of Squid Game. Gosh, I feel like a horrible human being. What if I... We'll take home a grand prize of one million won, plus five sets of domestic strings, as well as a masterclass with me. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> so let's start with the first round. Red light, green light. Contestants have eight minutes to cross from this side of the room all the way to the other side. When the music starts, they're allowed to move. When the music stops, they have to stop as well. All right, are you guys ready? All right, let's begin. We've got eight minutes, so I think I'm just gonna, you know, stretch a little bit. Oh. Wow. That's great, yeah. This person even has a violin. That does not look comfortable. A little less than four minutes. A less than four minutes. Oh, we have our first person over the line. Feel, feel good? Yeah. Oh, first person. I think, unfortunately, you're out. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh. So close. Oh, you just made it. All right. Well, congrats, we still have 21 people here remaining. How do you guys feel about yourselves? Congratulations, you did a great job. Okay. So in this round, we're gonna be testing your classical music knowledge in a true or false quiz. If you think is true, you go to the side marked with an O. If you think the statement is false, you go to the X side. Let's begin. All right, so the first question, we're gonna make it real easy. Johann Sebastian Bach had a total amount of 10 children. Oh, we have some, what do you think? What do you think over here? How many children do you think? How many is that? So if you think it's 12, you should go over there. Only if you think it's 10. Oh! oh. One person, are you, you're, oh, you decided to walk over there? All right, well, looks like we've run out of time, so let's check the answer. What is it? Is it true or false? It is false, you guys won! Whoa, very good. Very good, wow. Let's check the answer. It is indeed true! Oh, it is also false, you guys are correct. Well done. Well, let's move on to the last one. See if we can get him with this one. All right, Ray Chen played the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto in his final round of the Queen Elizabeth competition. True or false? You think, you think I played what? What did you think I played? Okay. I think you played a mendelssohn, but I am not sure because everybody here, I'm Korean, so I don't know. Okay, time limit, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. All right, are you ready for the answer? What did Ray Chen play in the final round of the Queen Elizabeth? Let's False. Oh, this guy, this guy knows. You made it! Woo! I'm so sorry, you guys have eliminated. The third round is called Find Ray Chen, where two other violinists and I will take turns playing a melody behind this curtain, and contestants have to guess which one is me.
Maybe the round was too easy. Well, give yourselves a round of applause for surviving this far. <laughs> round four, let's go. Before we get into the next round though, I wanted to tell you about Tonic, a music practice app that I love that also features fun and exciting group challenges like the one that you're seeing in this video. Get rewarded for practicing and supporting others and make friends while you're at it. It's free and available on iOS and Android. So download Tonic today and you'll find that practicing is so much more fun together. All right, welcome to round four. Please choose your favorite composer. Nope. <laughs> round four is based on a traditional Korean game called Tuho, where the contestants have to stand behind this red line and throw an arrow into a box. Sounds pretty simple, right? What the contestants don't realize is that behind each of these composer portraits lies a different shaped box. So, shall we reveal which boxes are which? Let's go. Mozart first. And then, Vivaldi. Vivaldi. Beethoven. So if you're wondering why I'm holding a bunch of bows in my hand, it's because we're gonna be using these sticks as the arrows because the Korean word hua is the same as arrow, much like bow is the same as bow and arrow. All right, let's begin. Oh, last go, last attempt. Oh, one has been eliminated already. Oh, all right, close. Oh, very close. Be careful, you can't go over the red line. Oh, that's round one, all right. Oh. Oh, oh! What does that mean? I can show you right here to demonstrate that this is not a cursed game. Two. So, okay. I think in those games when it goes in and then out, it doesn't count. I'm sorry. Okay, so here. So, okay, this one's also very possible. Oh, this one's quite difficult though. Mm, that one, that one is cursed. Let's go back to it. Oh, so close. Okay, maybe not too much. Wow, the box is here. Yeah, the box is very good. Let's 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 go back to it. Up bow is better than down bow. <laughs> oh, there you go! Our first first winner in this game. Each time the bow just. Well done! All right, wow, that, that is a strong bow grip she has. Yeah, there you go. May your bow be true and straight. Wow, maybe bow throwing takes practice too. Okay, how do you feel? Good? Okay, throw harder. Oh, this is really hard.
Oh, okay. Well, well done, well done. Well, it seems like only two contestants made it, so you guys are absolutely safe. But for the rest of you guys, we're gonna do a revival round. So you get another chance. All right. In this revival round, we're gonna move the boxes just a little bit closer. So they're gonna become a lot easier. Right over there, how's that look? More? More? Here? Okay, okay, that's good. All right. Oh! Oh! Wow, congratulations to the people here. You guys made it to the next round. With only 11 contestants remaining, we are ready to move into round five. This time, it's gonna be a sight reading challenge. Contestants are gonna be picking a random piece of music from this bucket, and they'll have 30 seconds to learn it before giving the performance of a lifetime. Three strikes and you're out. So, are you guys ready? Yeah! Let's begin. Why don't we start from over here? Keep it closed. And to make things fair, we have separate sheet music for our lovely cellist and violas. All right, let's see. What did you have? Oh, Vivaldi Spring. All right, so you go from this section to this section. So you got 30 seconds to quickly take a look. No, you can't use your instrument. All right. Okay, no, I don't know if that's what the notes are, but good attempt, good attempt. Like, let's, let me see here. Oh. oh, but good attempt. Unfortunately, you used up all three lives, so thank you for playing. Next. <laughs> you, are you majoring in uh, violin? Okay, yeah. You should be pretty happy to see this one. The look on her face. She realizes it's Bach double. Okay. Wow, and that was a blinding fast tempo as well. Congratulations, you made it through. Wow, when you first played that, the first note, whoa. All right, you're up next. Gosh. Some of the pieces are more difficult, but you got a pretty easy one. This is meditation. All right.
Wow. She just made it. Wow. You're up next. Are you a, are you a violin major? Okay, you learned for two weeks? Two years, two weeks. Oh, two, two years. I hope this one is... Oh. This is Vivaldi's Summer. From here to here. All right, you have to begin. That was a good attempt. That was a good attempt. Yeah. Oh, very difficult. All right. That was a great attempt. Thank you. Well done. Unfortunately, got one of the more difficult ones. Paganini Caprice number five. This one is interesting. Have you played Tchaikovsky, violin concerto? Gosh, I feel like a horrible human being. What have I done? Unfortunately, I think you're out. Thank you so much. Thank you for playing. Unfortunately, thank you so much for playing. I feel like such a terrible person. Who do we have next? What have you chosen? So, yeah, I've seen you practice a lot. You're like one of the top people on the leaderboards. Ooh, this one is Mendelssohn's third movement. It's okay, you can take your time. You have probably 20 seconds left. Remember, speed is okay. All right. Nice! You did it! All right! Pretty good? Are you a little nervous? Wow. You, 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 you did great. You did great. All right, here we go. All right. Not too bad. Cachaturian Violin Concerto, third movement. You got really lucky. The Minuet in G by Beethoven. Oh, nice! You made it through. Congratulations! Congratulations! You made it! Oh, 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 he doesn't look like... He knew! You did it! You made it through! Yes! Well done! All right. Okay, we've got our last cellist. Let's do it. Have you heard of Bohemian Rhapsody? You haven't heard of Bohemian Rhapsody?
Do you think you made it through? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that was a very, uh, it's, uh, unfortunately, I don't think passed. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, six contestants remain. It's time for me to give a performance. Let the final round begin. So we finally reached the final round, and with only six contestants left, It's time to put on the hardest challenge yet. This is called Mimic the Game Master. I'll be playing a first page of the La Campanella by Paganini. And these people behind me have to all try and get the timing exactly right so that their timing matches mine in the grand scheme of things. So without further ado, let's begin. All right. All right. Oh, well done, well done. It's good, all right. So, as a violist, you could try to play it in the same key or transpose it down a fifth. Transpose it down a fifth. Okay, Paganini la Campanella. All right, well done. Okay, here we go. All right, so you have to try and line it up where it's one minute, three seconds, 91 milliseconds.
All right, well done, well done. All right. Well done, well done. Round of applause. <laughs> Let's have up next. You got it? All right. All right, well done. So, in any case, I think it's time to reveal the results. Wow, really, they were that close. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh my gosh. So the round is over and there are three people I'd like to call out to step forward. Would you stand forward? Also you, you, you. What? Unfortunately, thank you, but you are eliminated. Thank you so much for playing. Now, the three of you can decide on whether or not you want to have another round or to announce the winner. No revival rounds. All right, it has been decided. We have one winner whose timing was only one second, 59 milliseconds off. That's one and a half seconds. Well done, well done. Round of applause. And you are the winner. All right, well done, yes. All right, well done, well done. All right, well done. You were the closest. Yes, well done. So here is, yeah, I know. You are the survivor. What are you gonna do with the, uh, the money? You're gonna gift it to your parents. What a nice son. Nuri Kim, congratulations, Nuri. How do you feel? Yeah, it was tough, huh? Yeah, not bad. But you played really, really well. Good luck with everything and keep going, as they say in Korean, fighting. Yes. So that was it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And also, come check out Tonic. Practicing, after all, is very important. So, see you in the next video. Bye.